so this is video number two on the wig making series and we're going to talk about wig caps now if you haven't seen the first video on this series about the closures make sure you do that I will put a link in the description box I will also have other video references by other youtubers for further clarity with this video so let's get started All right, so the first one is this old school stocking cap. Um, stocking caps are best to wear underneath wigs. However, you can create what is called a quick weave wig. This can be done on your head or on a wig head with hair glue. Now to protect your hair or the wig head, use a plastic bag underneath because the cap is thin and the glue has a tendency to see through so take note of that before you get started these are available in three colors as you can see black nude and brown and can be found at most beauty supply stores however I do have links where you can find those in the description box Okay, so both of these caps, the dome and the elastic caps, are usually hard to find because they are so popular to use for wig making. Um, it's fairly easy to find the elastic cap, but the dome, not so easy. The difference between the two is that the dome cap is smaller, it forms more to the head, and it has an elastic band around it. Now the elastic cap is a little bit bigger in the crown, and it has no elastic band at all. These caps are best with hot glue gun and needle and thread when you want to do a um, sew-in or sewing method for your wigs. Because they are a thickened material, you won't need a plastic cap. And it's better to use a wig head, not your own head for either method. <laughs> Again, you can find it at beauty supply stores, but I've also provided links of where you can find these below as well. Now weaving caps are perfect for wig making. You can use all three methods, the hair glue, hot glue gun, or the needle and thread to sew. It's better to use a wig head and you want to use a plastic cap when using either the hot glue gun or the hair glue to protect the wig head. This is so cool because it mimics the inside of manufactured wigs. So that's why it's so great for wig making. Now weaving caps can come in sizes. This one that I have on is an extra large and it helps to accommodate my head size along with how much hair is underneath my wigs. You can find them in beauty supplies as well. However, I do have links below where you can find them online as well. Now this is a new cap idea that I have noticed recently here on YouTube. If you guys would like to see um, an uploaded full video on how I remove the hair from this wig cap so you can use it to make another wig, please leave me a message in the description box. I'll get that out as soon as possible. But I think this is a great idea because the cap usually has a perfect fit all around your hair because it was an old wig so the best method to use I would say is hot glue gun or needle and thread again using a plastic cap just in case this is to help protect your wig head because I wouldn't suggest you using your own head when you're using the hot glue gun so sorry there's no links for this one uh, to where you can find online because you just need an old wig you don't wear anymore and cut the hair off and there's your wig cap. <laughs> now that you have some basic insight to the differences, you can use whatever cap and method you like. You can also use whatever type of hair you want as well. If you guys have any questions or just have a comment, just leave it below. Stay tuned for the next video in this series. It's gonna be about the different tools that you can use. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.